In this video, we'll be going over customized ratios. Let's plot a Fibonacci retrace component. Let's select the low and the high. Now from our previous ratios video, we saw that we can bring up the properties dialog by either double clicking on a ratio or by right clicking on a ratio and then selecting ratio settings. This will bring us to the retrace properties dialog on the ratios ratios tab. From here we can control the visibility of a ratio by selecting the checkbox to have it visible or deselected to not have it visible. We can change the actual value in the numerical field or we can change the individual settings for that ratio via the orange pencil. So let's just try a few things here. Let's start with the visibility. Let's say for instance that I did not want to view the 14.6. I can deselect it, click apply, and you now see that it's no longer visible. Now to make it visible again, of course, we can select it and click apply, and it is now visible. In regards to selection, we have here clear and select all. If, for instance, we wanted to select perhaps only four or five ratios to be visible, then it can be tedious to deselect all the ones that you don't want. In this case, you can click on clear and then just select the ones that you want. So in this case, I'll select these five. And if I click apply, one, two, three, four, five, only these five are visible. Now the select all, that facilitates us in selecting numerous ratios for visibility. Instead of clicking all of them or most of them, we can click select all and then just deselect the ones that we don't want. Okay, in this case the 14 is no longer visible, the 14.6 rather, and the 23.6. Okay, so let's select these two. We'll click apply so they are now visible again. As mentioned, we can also change the value. So for instance, if I wanted to put 10 there and then click apply, you notice that the value and the position has changed. So let's put it back to zero. Click apply. And now we're back where we started. The orange pencil allows us to edit the ratio settings for the individual ratio. Now to do that, you would have to deselect use defaults. Okay, in this case, I'm going to leave the ratio the same. However, I'm going to change its outline to be a rectangle. I'm going to enable the line property to be dashed. And I'm going to select yellow as a color. I will leave the font the same. I will click OK. And now if I apply, you'll notice that the changes take effect. So let's make some more changes here. Let's um, reduce this list. Um, what I would like to do is let's clear them all. And I only want two, three, four, five, and these six. And I click Apply. Now if I'm going to be using this specific set of ratios with these specific settings on a regular basis, I can then click on Save Preset and make a preset here. My preset yellow. Click Save. Apply. Now if I click OK, if I were to right click, let's say I change this preset to Fibonacci Blue, you'll notice there's a lot more ratios there. And if I right click and select the one I just created and then have the one, two, three, four, five, the six that I selected. Okay, so that's presets. Now, if I decide that I always want this to be my default every time I use the specific component, then I can click on defaults, save as defaults here, save defaults, click OK. And now if I were to, let's say, remove this and plot this again, you'll now see that those changes have now become my defaults. Okay, so that's it for this video on customized ratios, and we'll see you in the next.